Ladies and gentlemen, there has been no bigger winner from the season 14 changes than Fizz. This champion has skyrocketed to the number one champion in the game, snowballs ridiculously well, and we have Mango Fish. Mango, of course, he's the rank one Fizz in the world. Um, 2100 LP in China. I've had the pleasure or displeasure of versing him once and going 21 deaths. Uh, this guy's a freak show on the champion, and he's grinding. The build might surprise you. I was kind of predicting a few builds for Fizz, and his setup is not what I predicted at all as we get into it. Into an Akali matchup here. I actually don't mind the Fizz Akali matchup. If you survive the first few levels, eventually you're going to be able to snowball and actually one-shot the Akali. It is still a skill matchup. Like, if you butcher your all-in, you will get 1v1. It's all about using your E. And Fizz, at the moment... So, Mango always goes for cooldown reduction, whilst on the new patch, the items are just going for flat burst and AP. So, I kind of thought he would shift his build towards those one-shots, which he kind of has, but he still sticks to getting a little bit of that haste, because you need to make sure that your E is available as often as possible. Gets the E, goes back. That's a nice trade by Akali. Unfortunately, tanks the tower shot. Lee Sin comes in. This should be a kill, or force of a flash. Oh my god. Lee Sin tried to... He tried to flash predict. Too smart. We'll hard shove this in. Probably get a Dark Seal on the reset. Now, you guys know I'm banned from buying Dark Seals. A lot of people judge me. They're like, Drew, you never buy Dark Seal. Medjai's is such an OP item. And I agree. Medjai's and Dark Seal are great items. I just can't be trusted enough. And it's too much of a mental barrier of me. Oh. Gragas forces the flash, gets the slow. Akali gonna move in. Pops the ignite. As we pop the ignite ourselves, and we have one health, we have flash. Flashes, Jesus, man, he. You have to be ready to play. This champion at just like one hundred percent max level. Otherwise, don't play it at all. As he's trying to bait in the Gragas, he has his E up. Lee Sin's gonna come in. Let's see if we can get an assist here. Not able to get anything. We need to shove this next wave. I am climbing fine near you, and I don't build Medjais. Because, yeah, as I said, I can't trust myself enough. And you might need to look into your data pools. I had literal Einstein's relative data crunch all of my numbers and tell me what to build and how to play. And Medjais was definitely not in there. It was banned. As we don't greed there. We get the Dark Seal. We go towards the boots. Oh, Lee Sin. Lee Sin! Oh, God. The BM from the Akali. And season 14's been an interesting one for me. I think my champions are equal. I think, I think Talia is good. I think Zoe feels to me weaker. Um... Twisted Fate feels stronger. Cassio feels great. Uh, Jay, I don't really play. My AD champion pool is non-existent at the moment. I need to get my Jason Kiana back up to scratch. Um, Lissandra, I haven't really touched. Corky, I'm keen to try. Corky apparently is doing very well. Good numbers. As expected, Beifang Kiana review coming out very shortly of his new items. I'm giving a little bit of time. He's kind of been experimenting with a bunch of builds. Man, Akali. By the way, Fizz is number one, but Akali's number two. So these are the two most OP mid laners of the patch going head to head. As I am over in EU at the moment for those tuning in, doing a little bit of a $5,000 bet up, up against Baos FFS in a climbing challenge. I'm currently Grandmaster EU. Trying to get Challenger. Baos is just on my tail. He, Every time he seems to be out of it, he just goes on a weird winning streak going like one kill, 16 deaths, and just wins games. I don't complain. I just need to... Oh, 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 oh. Akali! And she is going to go down. That's a beautiful wait there. A lot of people would blow their stuff so early. He just sits and waits. Very patient. And now we're going to head back into the base. And pick up. Bum, bum, bum. Aether Wisp. 
We are going for Lichbane Rush. Lichbane Rush is back, ladies and gentlemen. There was a long time there where we were rushing Hourglass. We were rushing Hourglass, Lucidity Boots. But now that Lichbane has been buffed, it is a great first item rush on these champions like Fizz. Even for champions like, if you want, Twisted Fate, it can work. Of course, Sheen is now 1,000 gold. It got a little bit of a buff, but it's much more expensive. So, rushing that item usually is not that great at the moment because the interaction with the Fizz is solid, but until you get the actual Lich Bane upgrade, it's not that good. And you'll just see Mango playing slowly here, getting the waves in. Of course, when you watch Mango on Fizz, he's CSing well. I know I talk about this a lot, but if you're playing... Champions like Fizz, like Kiana, a lot of the time people just think automatically you need kills, kills, kills. But farm is the most consistent gold you're ever going to get in League of Legends. You can also get kills as Beifang. Sorry. Beifang. Uh, Mangofish gets the all in. And that's why Fizz does well into Akali. If you land their ultimate, doesn't matter if you shroud, you're screwed. Pop the ignite, they're dead. It's a great solo bolo. Mango also plays a mean Cassidin. Fizz Cassidin is his two go-tos. And he does like an A he does like an A like a full AP Cassidin setup with electrocute and like goes for that one shot. He's that type of Cassidin player. As we get our lucidity boots. No surprises there. Some people still go Sorks on Fizz, and you just end up with too little cooldown reduction or haste um, to get that E up two times in a fight. The optimal way you fight, right? Because you are going to be going for the hourglass. You go in, you get the E off into the hourglass, and then be when that stasis comes up, your E is just about to be off cooldown. If you don't build haste, you're not going to get that second E, and you're probably going to die. It's a massive part of Fizz's kit, and it's where you see a lot of these top tier Fizz's excel. Sleece in, pokes. This is going to be... We could Q ultimate here, maybe on cooldown. Q ultimate is a cooldown, is actually an animation cancel, as Gragas gets the bomber, pop the ultimate, gets the sweeper, tracking the Akali, he has flash, but he doesn't want to use it, you can see, just waiting, 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 can he go on top, gets it, oh, that's going to be a one up. Oh, he didn't kill... He, the burn didn't kill the Akali? Are you serious? He held his flash that whole time and greeted it. He could have got a kill there easily with the flash. But a lot of the time, people would rather take... the A lot of high low players would rather take the risk of getting the kill and the play without using the flash. It's very greedy. But also, if you're able to get that, that, that kill there without using flash, it's like a complete game winner. Lee Sin gets baited. And we actually might be able to get it. If we can get this kill with the double buffs here, 100% going to be worth maxing out that E, of course, into the W. Akali has Ignite, remember? So he's going to try and hunt here. Oh. Having access to this alternator, by the way, you have so much more upfront burst than people realize in the early game as Fizz. As we hit the ultimate, we wait for it. He gets the kill. If any jungler, if any jungler comes mid lane, you dive them on Fizz. If any jungler comes mid, you're diving them. We get that Lich Bane at 11 minutes in. And you're going to see how much damage Fizz has with this Lich Bane rush. Oh, Lee. I'm seeing a lot of these junglers just take one of the Void Grubs and then they try and get out. 
This Lee Sin's given five kills to Akali now. I don't really know what's going on with this guy. I'm, I'm inclined to flame him. As you guys know, I don't play with chat on though, so it's good for me. A lot of people think I've always been like not, you know. Oh. Carly thinking about it. On Fizz, your best trading pattern is like you... Underneath or Underneath tower, your E gets rid of the tower at all. Oh, that's a shutdown. Oh no. E? Yeah, buddy. Um, I used to type a lot. I had a couple of accounts chat restricted way back, like 10 years ago. And ever since playing with chat off, it's just... Allowed me, it, it allows me to think about the game in a different way, I think. As Mango, of course, has a much different philosophy with Magi's than I do. And he gets that Magi's 12 minutes in. The snowballing with this item, like, you're never going to get a better item to snowball games than a Magi's. Um, the cost efficiency is from, like, 8 stacks. Anything upwards of that, like, you're not getting any better bang for your buck. Now, I was kind of nervous because stopwatch was like a, a core... There's no stopwatch in League of Legends anymore. And it was a core component for Fizz early. But the, the, the fact that everybody else doesn't have stopwatch is just completely groundbreaking for Fizz. It's probably one of the reasons his win rate went up so much. A lot of the times previously, people had access to a 700 gold stopwatch that would completely negate Fizz ult. Now, it costs, what, 1600 gold to get the, the components? And you've got to fully complete, like, the actual hourglass item. It's it's insane. Alt. Q. Brag is coming in. We're going to use the Q. I think he dies to burn, no? Oh, not quite. Oh. He might... Oh. No Magi's. No Magi's 25 stacks, he greeted. Now the next item is the Hourglass. You go for the Seekers component. And that gives you the active now. A lot of people don't, like, that is the new stopwatch, Seekers. You'll see him, it's an activatable item. Which feels weird because we've had this item in the game for so long without it. Sometimes when I play and I build it, I forget about it, right? I don't click it. Because I forgot. Not because my reactions are slow, because I'm an old man. That is not the reason. Because I'm not. I'm in my prime. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I haven't even peaked yet. Some people, are, some newspapers are saying about me. That's what they say. Might be Smeb top playing Graves. Jesus Christ. Smeb fan, surely. He is farming very well. And we haven't noticed here. We haven't done any roams. Normally, if you can't kill your, your mid lane... And there's no action. Like, say you're into an Orianna that's playing passive and cucking. You just go bot and dive, dive, dive. Gragas. Oh my god. Okay. Now we still have the Hourglass active here. Oh, he didn't get a Q off in time. Gets exhausted. He still has it. He still has the active. He's going to go in and try and bait it. Hits the hourglass. That's going to take down the Akali. 15 stacks now on the Magi's. Ultimates are already almost back up. It's crazy how low of a cooldown Fizz ult really is. Watching this guy play Fizz, man. It's just a blessing. People that have over 10,000 games on their specific one-trick champion, it's just like, it's so smooth to watch them play it. As Set takes down the Graves, thumbs up emote. We're going to have enough for the upgrade now, I believe. Oh, wait, maybe we don't, because this item is so expensive now. This item is so expensive, but it gives 120 AP. 
We get it. So Lich Bane and Hourglass both give more AP now, and Hourglass gives 120 AP, which is insane stats. Insane. Lee Sin gives the blue over. When will my jungle... My junglers do that and then smite it last second. Why do I bother existing? As we max out their W now. So we've got E max, W max. We're like 8 CS per minute. Storm Surge completed for the Akali. Storm Surge for the Gragas. We don't go Storm Surge. Why do we not go Storm Surge, Drew? It's a great item for Fizz. The reality is, the stats are good, but we actually don't need more damage on Fizz to kill. That extra Storm Surge, a lot of the time, is just wasted. You one-shot regardless. So having that extra 200 damage is cool and all, but a lot of time you just kill them anyway, man. So be able to go for things like the Lich Bane on hit, then you're able to go for the Hourglass into straight Death Cap with Medjai's, which is getting... Death Cap is efficient 100%. So... Do you know how Death Cap gives you like extra 35-40% on your original AP? Buffs it. Even just buying Death Cap straight, it's gold efficient. So being able to get all this extra AP from Hourglass, Lich Bane, plus you're able to get that damage, damage that extra um, amplification from the Death Cap passive, it just means it's so damn efficient, this build. And we go straight into Death Cap Void here. He actually doesn't go Void, sorry. He goes the new one. Oh, Hourglass. Wait, wait. Pops it. Now his E's back up. He should be able to... E out. There you go. See you later. He goes the Crypto Bloom. Which I actually don't... I don't know if I like it. I've, I've done a little bit of research. I've had Einstein's cousin do it. Crypto Bloom seems cool, but the Void stats are just so damn raw and efficient. It's hard to look past it. When that little healing burst is cool. But is it really game changing? It is cheap though. I do I do give it that. As we are on a mission for 10 CS per minute. And we get it. He's trying to get enough for two... Uh, Oh my god, he might even be trying to stay out for death cap. <laughs> World's riskiest split push. The thing is, I'm pretty sure if anyone comes, he's going to one-shot them. Here's a Kali. Ultimate lands. Now to smash your keyboard. Hourglass is back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does he one-shot this chick? And he does. He stays out for death cap. Oh my god. Now you're about to see some damage, guys. We have 750 AP before 20 minutes. This is the core 4, and then you go Crypto Bloom. That's full build. It's a very raw AP. You only get 50 haste. A lot of old builds, you get a little bit more haste, right? You'd have more cooldown reduction. So this build just has a little bit more raw AP and less haste. Oh my god. Oh my god, he is absolutely fumbling. Do you see without the cooldown reduction? He doesn't have the E up in time there and he's going to go down. Now the sad thing is, Fizz Q damage can be like, it can be dodged by a dash. So you saw there, Kaiser took no damage from the QW because of the ultimate. It's one annoying thing they did on Fizz where the Q damage can be like flashed or dodged. But because he doesn't have over like 60, 70 haste there, doesn't get the second E off and we go down. We give a little bit of a bounty off. But, middle monster, I don't really care because I want to see some more Fizz gameplay as he takes a little sip of his coffee. Look at his little setup in the background. What is that? Dragon Ball Z? 
some anime girls. Some red guy in a cape. I don't know what they are. If any anime or like weeb type viewers do know, I'd like to uh, be made aware in the comments. I'm still on my first anime. I'm watching Attack on Titan. I haven't finished it yet. It's been, I've been watching it for three years. I do about one episode a month. I don't know why, but for me with anime, because it's subtitled, right? I need to be very active in ready to watch it. So when I'm tired after a day of hard work, oh, Drew, what do you do for work? Shut up. I don't want to be like reading subtitles and stuff, man. I just want to be zooted out and just chilling and list. Like so sometimes I'm not ready to put the effort in to watch anime. That's the truth, man. Goodbye, big man. GG's. I will finish it though. I'm enjoying it. Next on my list, I need to watch Jujutsu Kaisen, and I want to watch, there's another one I need to watch that I've been talking about, uh, Jojo's Adventure or something, I can't remember what it, I can't remember what it's called, Cowboy Bebop, maybe that one, yeah, I have a watch list, I'll get to it, before I'm dead, hopefully, if not, hey, it is what it is, man. Okay, there's Leona. There's probably a whole team around, surely. Yep, Kaisa. Oh, he didn't get his hourglass off before the ult. Didn't get his ult off before the hourglass, and the ultimate goes wide. It won't matter though. Q should take out the Kaisa, but can't quite land it. Akali gets a double kill, one of the least sin. And unironically, this game is actually getting a little bit hard. Enemy Kaisa is a little bit of a beast. Chinese Kaisas are. Chinese Kaisers, when I played on the Super Server, and don't get it twisted, I only played in gold because I got hard stuck. They were every game 1v9. Apparently, I talked to a couple of Chinese players. A, a very popular boosting champion in China is Kaiser. A lot of boosters will play Kaiser or Nidalee Jungle. I guess Kaiser because if you're a Smurf, you have self peel. Enemy cast only 4 and 4. I mean, I don't know why. They didn't even look like that good this game. But I'm just saying. Every game, it seemed like they went 15 kills 1v9. We head back. A little bit of magic is just getting picked up by the enemy. Does he go void or crypto? Let's see here. Looks like he's waiting for the void. Okay, so... Most of the other games, I've seen him go crypto, but this game, he has enough for the Void. Which I like. I think Void Staff is actually a lot better, as I said. We're getting 140 AP here. If we wanted, we could sell boots, get an elixir, and get 1,000 uh, AP. But a lot of times, selling boots is uh, actually a mistake. Don't always sell boots just because you have the extra gold. Some people get baited into it. Is that what it, is that Baron music? I don't know why they added that shit. Blink and you might miss it. Huge. He still has ult. Looks like he's going to try and save it for if the Kaiser pops a head out. Oh, ultimate landed. He's going to flash in. Oh my god. Kill him. Ladies and gentlemen, that might be all that she wrote. Mango fish on the fizz. What a pleasure to watch. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. And also, thank you for 500k. I'm pretty sure by the time this video hits, I'll be 500k subs. 
been a long ass journey, man. Half a mil. Appreciate every single one of you. Um, and until next time, I'll see you on my next video. Good night. Man.